Hi right, guys, Royal Tanker back again, and what what have we got? Well, uh, just today I got myself into my local GW shop, and I went and got the Codex. Finally. Um, well, I'm as you can see, I've removed the plastic off it because I just wanted to check what was in it. And I must say, I am very, very impressed with what they've done with the Guardsmen. I'm very impressed. So I'll probably try and make this 10 minutes long, about, and try and give you all the best things. I might show you a couple of pictures of um, what's in here, like some of the regiments and some of the things that they can do. And yeah, let's get going. So on the front, um, sorry guys, I'm still using my um, phone for this. So it might not be a best, best height or the best view, but I try to make it as best as I possibly can. So on the front, we've got Astro Militarum Codex, and we've got a lovely piece of art of a Commissar ligging the charge. And then on the back, it just goes into a bit of detail, like forwards for the Emperor, I mean forward, forwards for Terra, and just some of the info, what you'll find inside the book, and there's a bit of a showcase of some of the models. So as we open up, we've got a bit more of a lovely front page here. Uh, there's the front bit, Astra Militarum, with like all the banners and some of the guns sticking out, that looks pretty cool. And then just goes into the introduction and contents. And this is a really nice looking piece of art, I really like this, I really do. With a Commissar, uh, I'm not sure what that's called, um, it's like one of the tech priests, uh, a tech priest or some something called something like that it's from the um uh what are they called um the skatari uh it's one of their powerful tech marine tech priests or whatever they are uh then we've got loads of guardsmen leading the line we've got a titan in the back there a couple of titans we've got a commissar leading the charge and we've got a view of an armor of a scout sentinel with an auto cannon and then just a few randomly dead guardsmen, but who cares when these lot are, have been killed, but then they, the enemy has to deal with all of that. So that looks really good. Um, what's next? Um, the Shield of Humanity, so it just goes into a small breakdown of where Chain of Command is and what they're in charge of and then so on and so forth. And then it just goes into a lot of detail. And then this is quite nice, showing off how a company is organised. So you've got like an infantry company and how that's organised. And then you've got armoured companies and how they're organised. And then it goes on for a little bit more. And then it shows how a regiment is organised. So like this one, I wouldn't even dare attempt to do this. If I had the money, I would probably. But I wouldn't attempt to do this. It's like... It's three companies of infantry. So you've got three infantry companies, which is a lot of guardsmen. And then you've got all of these down here. You've got like 83 preachers and 101 men, manuals or whatever they are. Pretty much too many models. But I reckon it would be an absolute pain to get rid of on the table. And then you've... But to me, the armoured armored regiment looks a little bit more tempting... Because there's loads of Lehman Rust tanks. I mean, your command is a one Lehman Rust and, and a Chimera. And then you've got three tank companies. Which is, on here, it's demonstrating two uh, companies of ten Lehman Rust tanks. Just standard. And then you've, then the third company is, a de is ten Demolisher Lehman Rust tanks. But you can have them however you want. And then you've got a heavy first heavy in company, which is a Bane Blade, and then you've got Scout Sentinels and AA, so that looks pretty good. And then it just goes on about some of the regiments. So you've got the Catachans here, you've got Armageddon, Steel Legion, the Vestroyans, the Valhallen, Tauren, and then it just goes on to some of like special um special uh, people in these regiments, and then it goes through all the um, all the battles that they've won, and it goes on for a long time. 
this pi this picture right here, it's been seen in loads of codexes and loads of fan art and stuff. But I still really like it. Just Guardsman leading the charge. It just looks so good. I really, really like what they've done with this codex. It is well thought through and I really like it. So you've got the company commanders, you've got tank commanders, platoon commanders, infantry squads, and it just goes on and on and on. And then you come to some of the special characters, so like Lord Castle and Creed, you've got Knight Commander Pask, probably one of the best tank commanders in the game. Um, Colonel Einhand Strachan, you've got Gunnery Sergeant Hacker, you've got all of these special things like the Militant and Pestis and Valkyries, Commissar Yarrick, Commissars, I mean, it's just so well thought out. Uh, so we'll just keep going on, and then it just goes into some of the regimental colours, so some general ideas of what you could do, so for the Cadians, there's the usual Cadian Green, then you've got the Catachens, Ice Warriors, all sorts there. And then you've got some of these really nice looking fan, fan custom made ones. And I, for some reason I really like what this guard army looks like. I, I really just really like the look of what they've done with this guard army. Just the way that they've replaced the heads with like feather, feathered helmets and stuff, it just looks so good. Um, but there, ah, there we go, there's a slight better close-up. I think that looks really good, just all that custom build for these guardsmen, just looks so good. Uh, then, then you've got some other stuff, so you've got the Vestroyans, and then here, this is something I didn't realise until I was on my way home, that these are the starter sets for the, uh, for the two, uh, Astro Militarum armies. So you've got the starter set for the Cadians. Uh, and then you've got the starter set for the Militarum Tempestus. I really like this, um, I, this is, just looks really good, just showing two different ways you can go. Um, then you've got, like, how it's all laid out for you, and then it goes into some of the things, so the orders are pretty standard, so you've got take aim, first rank fire, second rank fire, bring it down, force for the Emperor, get back in the fight, move, 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 and fix bayonets. And then they've got all their special sort of things there. And then you've got all the um, details that you need for all your guys. And then here is something cool. So you've got regimental stuff. So it's like uh, like regimental orders. So it's like the regiment Cadian, but it's for tank orders. So these are additional orders, but they're for tank, for the tank commander. Uh, because if I play Kad since I'm playing Cadian, um, this Cadian tank order is um, pretty much uh, I can re-roll the dice when determining the number of attacks the ordered models can make with turreted weapons. So pretty much any weapon that has like D6 or anything like that, if if the result is not what I really like, I can re-roll it. So that's quite good. Um, and then it goes into loads of other different ones. So you've got Catachans, Valhallans, Vestroyans, Armageddon, Tauron, Middle and Pestis, and Mordian. And then as we move on, it just goes into everything. So you've got everything you need to know about your tank commanders, Knight Commander Pask, all your heroes, your infantry, Master of Ordnance, Platoon Commanders. Everything you need is all the way through here. And I think they've added a couple of new things, so like the Ogren Bodyguard. I've only known one Ogren, and that was, um, not dead, yeah, that's it, not, uh, dead dog. He was the only body, or Ogren Bodyguard that I knew of. But adding just a normal, regular Ogren Bodyguard is pretty, pretty nice, so there's some interesting plays there. Uh, then it just goes on with everything else. So you've got your manticores, all your heavy support, like your tanks and stuff. And then if we go back, uh, here's all the armory. So you know what your weapons do, what their roles are, that sort of thing. And then you've got another another lovely piece of art here with like the guardsmen of mid time Tempestus and other um, Imperium armies going up against Tyranids. 
Uh, then you've got these, which is regimental doctrines. So these are automatically put onto all your men, depending on what regiment you play as. So since I play Cadians, um, the Cadian is a born soldier, and pretty much I get to re-roll hit rolls of one in the shooting phase for units with um, with this doctrine if they did not move in the previous movement phase. So that's quite good. But if an infantry unit with the doctrine is issued the take de take aim order, and it did not move in the previous movement phase, re-roll all failed hit rolls for this for the unit until the end of the phase. That is really good for Cadians. And then you've got like others. So you've got the Catachans, which I believe. Yeah, they get uh, better stuff for close combat, so they get to add one to their strength and leadership. You've got the Valhallans, they get uh, uh, vehicles with the doc with this doctrine that have a damage table double the number of wounds, so it's making their tanks more survivable. You've got the Vestroians, uh, Armageddon, Talon, Militum Tempestus, and the Mordian Iron Guard. And then it just goes on to all the strategiums you get. And then it just goes into like some of the heirlooms you can equip to you guys. And then you've got like the warlord traits. And then you've got the regimental warlord traits. And then it just goes into all your points. And then just some tactical objectives. So yeah, that's the uh, Astro Militarm Codex. Um... Yeah, what can I say? Um, if you're playing any any sort of guard army, I really think this will be good. Even if you're going to be starting out, I think the Astro time will be quite good to play as. And I am thoroughly, thoroughly happy with it. GW have made a really good job with um, the Astro time Codex, and I really, really can't wait to play my Cadians with what's in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh Shall we say quick review? Um, I'm starting to lose my voice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, comment down below if there's anything I've missed or if there's a specific topic you want me to look at in this book. Like, if there's any specific tanks you want me to look at or there's some orders you want me to look at or just some general info, then please leave comments down below. Uh, they always help me and they don't just help me, they'll help you. Um, so please like, subscribe, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.